Hello, everyone. I am Cynthia Leachmore, EA, and the president of NAEA. On behalf of the board, I thank you for taking the time to view this recording. As volunteer leaders, we know what a privilege it is to serve you. As you may know, NAEA is looking at bylaws changes to remove barriers to membership and to increase leadership and member engagement. In September, the board voted to advance these proposals to you, the members, for approval. As a voting member, you will get a ballot in December. These proposals with their most current details are posted on the NAEA website, and I encourage you to look at them. Why are we proposing change? Change, while sometimes difficult, is often necessary for the higher good. Therefore, I want to focus on the state of our association through the lens of why we exist, how the things that define us at a core level service now, and how they must evolve to serve us in the future, most particularly our structure. As I have said before, my guiding star for this year is the belief that our association exists to connect, unite, empower, and serve one another as members with equity and inclusion for all. It is not a one-way give and take, but rather it is circular, encompassing the many levels of our professional, structural, and social networks. First, connection is what gives our association life. At NAEA, we connect with each other nationally, regionally, and locally. We do this through live events, affiliate and online communities, forums, and special interest groups. It is in these spaces where we share, learn, and grow our practices together, making friends along the way. We connect members and leaders through our open door policy in our online member forums and in live and virtual meetings. Last, we connect our association with the public in our outreach campaigns and with the governing and regulatory bodies that impact our profession and the clients that we serve. Second, unity is what gives our association relevance. I heard somewhere that unity is many voices, one message. We unite as professionals because we know the power of strength in numbers and that we are stronger and more influential together. Unified, we can amplify our collective voices to tell the world that we are enrolled agents. Within our organization, achieving unity means that we understand that bringing together diverse needs and perspectives is an intentional and constant process. Sometimes we know it can be hard to put aside differences, but as an association of peers, we must hold to the understanding that we are one in our profession. This involves open minds, collective collaboration, and the trust that we all want a better NAEA. Third, empowerment is what makes our members stronger and more successful. NAEA's mission is to empower enrolled agents everywhere. At NAEA, we empower members across all phases of the EA career through professional education, practice management, and leadership development. If you are newer to the profession, you are getting information, tools, and support to develop a broad range of skills, leading you toward a prosperous career. If you are a more seasoned professional, you are getting information, tools, and support to refresh your skills, keeping your practice on the cutting edge. Last, service is what makes our association possible. Service exists in every corner of our organization. NAEA serves our structure by providing programs, services, and member support. Leaders serve the organization by providing vision, direction, and by fostering a culture of collaboration and trust. Members serve each other by sharing their time and talent. Combined, these form the backbone of our association, ensuring its existence and continuity. Connection, unity, empowerment, and service. All components working together, defining who we are and what we do. That said, time changes the way these pieces function at their highest level, and in today's world, connection and service in particular. The ways that we connect have evolved. There was a point in time when most of this happened when members gathered in person. That has changed in this digital age that we find ourselves in now. While almost everyone enjoys live interaction, 
there has been a sharp drop in the numbers of those who find that desirable, practical, or even attainable when it comes to participating in professional groups. Time and geography are factors. Professionals are increasingly flocking to online content, particularly for education, which can be obtained anywhere. Organizations that rely heavily upon multi-day live education and other events to sustain and grow membership find themselves stagnant and less relevant. At NAEA, our members are showing a strong desire for shorter events with much less formality. Volunteerism has also evolved for all organizations. I grew up in a time and place where most families had one working parent and where the other, generally the mother, stayed at home. My mother and her friends found profound purpose in volunteer work and modeled how such dedication made a difference in the lives of those they served. I, like many of my peers, naturally embraced the notion that time and talent were a duty and something to be sacrificed freely. Today, several generations later, the sacrifice is even greater. Our world is more complex, much more expensive, and time has become a precious commodity. Volunteerism now swims in a larger pool of competing priorities, and people are generally less willing to commit to long-term projects, and especially to those with no end in sight. Passion and generosity remain constant throughout our generations, but now, Volunteerism works best with meaningful tasks that have smaller time commitments. We have felt this throughout our organizations, our affiliates in particular. Our affiliates exist to engage the members under their care and their leaders work hard to do so, but many of them are tired as the pool of willing leaders dwindles and the association management requirements of today have become increasingly complex. Many of our affiliates are struggling and a solution is needed to remove the barriers to both leadership and volunteerism so that volunteer time is spent focused on engagement activities and to let members be members. One of the motions on the ballot addresses this challenge by adding a state or regional chapter model with the intent to relieve affiliate leaders of governance, legal, operational and managerial responsibilities. The proposal would allow affiliates the option to change their current affiliate structure to a less management intensive model. Operating as a chapter would free up precious volunteer time, provide more support for leaders to do education and social events, and to promote the EA credential through state and local awareness campaigns. This is what we are about, engaging and empowering members to make a difference in the lives of their clients, their peers, and for themselves. There are two other ballot motions intended to remove barriers to membership in our organization. The first is for the elimination of the dual membership requirement, which would allow members to choose to belong to an affiliate, to NAEA, or to both. The second would reduce the annual 30-hour CE requirement to that of the IRS requirements under Circular 230. All of these proposed motions are intended to make our one united NAEA home more vibrant and more relevant as we move into the future. Your voice matters as we shape our future together. Please vote. Thank you so very much.